Hey, yo, what's good? What's going on, everyone, everywhere? Look, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For everyone that has supported, subscribed, and all that good stuff, shared the video out, et cetera, et cetera. Thus far, we are at 450 subscribers right now. We're on the way to 1,000, okay? I wanna preface this whole video by mentioning that Okay, because once we get to a thousand, I will be paying for 10 memberships for this game, DC Universal Online. So definitely share the video out even more. Like the video, comment down below, help the algorithm out. Subscribe if you are new and if you haven't already, especially if you like the content and you see what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? It's free after all. Well, look, let's go ahead and get into these loadouts. Okay, this, these loadouts will be for not only healer and damage roll, for sorcery, okay? But also PvP arenas and duels. All right, so there's not really much to it in terms of tactical mods and whatnot. Um, the stats are purely based on your combat rating and your gear. All right now you see I got some Gotham Knight and Elemental Android going on. Eventually, I'll probably get it up. Um, probably when they fix PvP some more. <clears throat> but yeah. And artifacts don't matter, nor does the trinket besides just the breakout trinket here, okay? Um, Soda Color Infinite is definitely what you want to use when you're in the arena itself. Um, if you're not, if you're dueling, I would say go Soda Color Ultimate, because if you are throwing it, hey, you might as well get completely max health and some extra buffed up stats but look trinkets when you're dueling though um general basis i like to go omac supply drop sidekick and um throw even a pve breakout one like i got right here okay just so i'm still able to break out in a duel if not you can always go a good buff trinket you can't go wrong with a buff trinket really um, a nice boost, especially, I believe it's, yep, Baby Boo will put a shield on you as well as like stun them and whatnot. If you go, sorry, I'm a dog in the background. Do apologize for that. Um, but if you go right here with this sunken rune trinket, for dueling, it restores power too. So that's an excellent thing to utilize when you are dueling. Um, you can always put in the backup and replace a sidekick. But I like to run the sidekick because it gives you a shield, health, and power. And if you get the staff one in particular, it's really nice because it just stuns them a lot. All right. Um, but that's about it in terms of it. Uh, you can always use the heartthrob if you want to debuff your target I guess you want to call it that the person you're dueling against um, those are just some of the trinkets that would be useful in a duel so keep that in mind you can always uh, do something like this to some just to stun them as well and any kind of stuff that you make with your exo materials that some like them graviton enhancers and all this other stuff that you can make there's plenty of stuff in terms of the R&D vendor <clears throat> now in terms of dueling I generally like to have this setup right here the House of Legends bot for combat just in case if once again general basis with respect you don't utilize your trinkets your allies or anything like that but if you are using it for whatever reason and y'all both agree to it hey go ahead house of legends bot is just gonna stun them like crazy and do a lot of damage almost knock them out and kill them that's always nice <laughs> if not knock them out and kill them if they're foils they're gonna chunk them very low um batman who laughs look at the draw it's just essential at this point i could go cyborg all your base just to keep up with that power regeneration there but you can also do the death metal batman with the cloak of engineer just to get that damage mitigation and extra might and precision while you're fighting okay now in terms of our spec i recommend that you actually pick a weapon it can be whatever weapon um generally you can use rifle for a lot of good stuff i like to go with shield just because in this combo right here the six tap and the hold you can technically just do 
uh, tap hold and it'll cycle through each one as you consistently um, tap and hold back to back to back consecutively it's the word I was looking for sorry not consistently um, but you're more than welcome to use other weapons as well so I, I know a lot of people use martial arts like I'm using right now bow's a good one brawling can be real good dual wield even hand blaster I used to really love um, a lot of people still like to use one handed it just depends on what you're trying to do staff can stun but yeah now me I have all my iconic and super speed just because the amount of skill points that I have but you do not need all this stuff um, as a general basis always get your movement here to your go fast or whatever you can call it super speed supersonic um, rocket light assist all that good stuff all right now your super speed which most people should be at this point if you don't know now you know super speed is the one movement that gives you the most powerful abilities in the game so vortex trap is pretty much um not broken but it's definitely very useful in pvp right now just because you cannot interrupt it you cannot block from it and it deals a good it does more damage than whirling dervish if you didn't know um per hit basis and overall and it stuns them so it just helps them that way um cyclone push is a good one tornado pull is a little bit better the cyclone push um, you'll see later that it's a 200 power cost while tornado pool is a 100 power cost but tornado pool kind of gets you stuck in an animation towards the end of it which kind of sucks and it can leave you very vulnerable depending on what your opponent is doing at you and a cyclo push um, is a little bit quicker but it also hits multiple targets as opposed to tornado pool just hits only one uh, some people like to use phase dodge it's just really on you and your playing style what you're trying to do um, metabolic boost is a nice thing to use it's basically a free breakout trinket it's only 2500 uh, supercharged cost so it's always a good thing to have um, yeah so those are some of the things vortex trap tornado pool will be some of the things I'm more pressed to get and um, metabolic boost and definitely your breakout mastery here with all these extra nodes as well now in terms of Iconic, Amazon only Reflection is a nice thing to have just in case. Harlight Shield is pretty much a requirement when it comes to PvP just because it is one of the best shields in the game right now. It completely negates 100% damage, it has the highest health pool for shield, etc, etc, etc. So it's just good all around there. Um, if you want to troll people, Clown Box is a nice thing to have. Um, I like to use Word of Power for healing sometimes, especially in group scenarios, just because it does not only stun them, but also gives you um, power over time for you and your group. Um, Neo Venom Boost can be a very nice addition. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. A very nice addition to your loadout, and I'll show you where it can be incorporated in later. I wouldn't just have this on your loadout 24 7. I would definitely swap it in and out, even if you're doing like a solo um, arena or even um, 2v2s or anything like that, or any kind of higher tier play as well. I'll definitely wait until you have you, at least half your super charge bar or more, and then whenever you die or say there's a down point at all, I'm going to swap this in and then utilize it then, okay? Uh, super strength, I highly recommend that you get. It does slightly boost the damage of your weapon, which is what you're gonna want in PvP especially, but also, the smashing the objects so when you throw them barrels or you knock or you hit the barrels on the ground right in front of you especially the explosive barrels they do a lot more damage with super strength which used to be a cheese thing if you didn't know especially with gorilla um now in terms of stat points generally speaking whether i'm doing damage or healing i always like to do a super power focus for the extra 25 percent power generation it definitely gives you a nice competitive advantage over the enemy some people still like to go to hybrid just so you have more control over your power generation um but a lot of times i will see i won't be able to actually hit my enemies with power especially if i'm healing i'm needed to just quickly 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 spam out heals to keep my partner or my teammates alive so super power is just something i like to go with especially with additional 10 percent power pool as well it's very nice to have um now in terms of your spec down here pretty much want to get your crits so if you're doing damage get your attack crits if you're healing doing your healing crits okay chance and magnitude in that order do chance first then do magnitude 
All right, now when it comes down here in the stat points, if you're doing arena play or arena instances, arena fights, even scrim skirmishes, go ahead and only spec to 100 stat points in each of these nodes that you're wanting. So with healers, you know, you need your resto, then get your mind power, then get your health, then go to precision, all right? That's the order of importance for healers. Now, always put one in dominance and one in fight. Just get the extra little boost of stats. Um, you can even put five to 10 later on. That is okay as well. But do not go in the uh, three, seven, or anything like that. Only do increments of five or increments of 10. Increments of 10 are preferable for all of these stats. Points down here in these bottom two rows. Holy Joe, my dog's over here chewing up this bone and he's having a blast over here. But in terms of your damage spec, if you are just doing strictly DPS, you wanna go ahead and get your mind power first and foremost, okay? Get your precision second, and then get your health third. Definitely get make sure you get some nice vitalization, and then get your dominance next. And then I'll say do resto. I always say get dominance before resto, just cause your dominance, that slight increase in your dominance will help you with the stuns, especially more hard stuns and whatnot, so you're actually able to stun your opponent. And then for the rest, though, it would just helps all around. You never know. You might have um, a healing ability in your damage loadout. Who knows? I don't know how y'all run this stuff. I'm just giving y'all the stuff I would use in running this kind of content for PvP and dueling, okay? Now, we're coming to our stats here. Or our loadouts here. My apologies, y'all. Loadouts, if you're doing a more pure healing kind of build, especially in group play. I would definitely recommend they use Rejuvenate, um, Shard of Life, Soul Siphon, Soul Bolt, Boon of Souls, and Soul Well. Soul Well is a very nice addition and very nice thing to have in terms of sorcery, because although the cooldown is 12 seconds, I believe Soul Well lasts for like 15 seconds or more. It lasts for a very long time, even after you have use the ability and the ability to come off cooldown is still able to heal you with a healer roll and damage your teammates and dps roll and being that's only 200 power costs you can actually drop multiple of these okay so you can drop like i think like two or three is a maximum i think like three is maximum or four possibly don't quote me on that but i know you can drop multiple of these and they still um can have added effects so that's definitely a, a nice thing to have um i recommend that you go ahead and utilize that now if you want just more healing and one ability definitely go circle protection for healing it just heals um, a bit more on per heal over the heal over time it just heals more there um some that i would recommend if you're doing more solo play and you just want a little bit more damage take out soul bolt here and go ahead and put in vortex trap you could even replace rejuvenate for vortex trap but just so you're not too vulnerable and you're able to heal yourself back up, I would just say go ahead with Soul Bolt to Vortex Trap. Rejuvenate is pretty much one of, gonna be one of your best heals um, in terms of PvP, just because it is a lower power cost and priority heal, and it's very quick. Okay, so you spam this out at a low power cost, and you're not saying you're like spamming out your group heal, which can be very beneficial as well, especially in more team-based play, but more likely for most case scenarios rejuvenate is going to be the way to go your priority heal okay now if you are trying to do more damage not only i will recommend you use vortex trap but you can even throw in your weapon of destiny i generally don't like to use the weapon buff in pvp just because it doesn't last too long for the amount that is useful and a lot of times it's harder to kill your opponent especially your balance on who's really good it's harder to defeat them within that small window of weapon buff time okay so if you are trying to do a lot of damage to them i would say still keep your boon of souls you can even take out soul wheel you can go ahead and put your fury or even your watcher a watcher is actually thing to have because the, the pets and pvp are very useful a lot of, not a lot of people focus on pets and normally if you do focus on pet then you're taking off of the main main enemy which in turn can leave you at a severe disadvantage so just keep that in mind go ahead and put that watcher in and replace it with your soul bolt or even soul well they definitely keep your boon of souls if you are noticing that you're getting beat up quite heavily go ahead and throw your hard light shield and turn 
and replace it for Soul Bolt. <clears throat> okay. Soul Siphon is going to be pretty good. It does pretty good healing as well. And it will just help you heal uh, more and more as you deal more damage to the targets that you hit with this ability. Okay. Charlotte Life is just a nice bit of damage and a nice bit of healing. So it's just nice all around package deal that you can use for your healing roll here. But that is about it in terms of PvP and arenas and even duels. Now duels, the only thing that will change is I would go ahead and put in, where's that final ruin? Because as you saw in duels, for some of these artifacts, I got like the Lamort card, Demon Fang, and the Amulet. The Amulet is gonna heal you even if you didn't hit any abilities with that. So I would definitely recommend that you get a lot of healing abilities and heal over time abilities. Like, prime example, Soul Will, Boon of Soul, so you're not taking that much damage. Go ahead and throw in your Hard Light Shield as well. Your Final Ruin ability. And where's it at? I'm trying to find it. This will be a very like, if you're fighting mental or something like that, um, load out. Definitely make sure you have one of your shields popped up. Go ahead and put your soul wall down because it's just going to heal you as you're taking the damage, especially if you have the amulet on because you're going to be taking a lot of damage from all this stuff. Um, the shards will help replenish some healing and your third percent is going to definitely help replenish some healing. If you need, just go ahead and finish them off and third five percent is not going to be the ideal situation since it is vulnerable to interrupt. Go ahead and pop that vortex trap and it'll finish them off for you, all right? And that's about it in terms of healing wise. Now damage wise, I already went over the spec. The loadout is gonna look like this. Fortress Trap, Vengeance, Condemn, Soul Barrage, Harlot Shield, and Fury. Once again, Fury just cause not a lot of people focus on pets. Fury's free to do what it can do. Um, yes, you lose out on passive power generation, which does suck, but Fury even without power is better than robot psychic it's hard to robot psychic so that's always a good thing to have there now if you still want that passive power generation just go ahead and change out with boon of souls just so you are always covered for that right there okay always covered always taken care of now fury would be a better bet for the most damage uh guardian is also a good thing to have as well it he lasts a little bit longer in terms of his power um, usage and his power bars gonna be utilized a lot less for him. Um, Guardian can also help you out. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Apologies, I'm not feeling the greatest right now. But Guardian also helps you out um, when it comes to PvP, just by the way that he his AI is set to work as opposed to the Furious AI set to work. Fury can a lot of times be more single target focused on thing and throwing a few AOE. Um, a lot of times Guardian uses brawling when, when he's swinging, a lot of it's gonna hit AOE. Um, some stuff he does do single target as well, but it's just how you wanna play it. Honestly, it's your choice. I recommend Fury for more damage, Guardian just for more like staying there and alive for longer. Cause does I believe he has like more health or more defense or something like that. Now you can always change out Soul Barrage because if you didn't hear my testing on my PvE might base loadout, Soul Storm does more damage for smaller groups of adds like one to two. Soul Barrage does more damage as an overall skill, ability, and per hit basis when you get to three enemy plus range, okay? So definitely keep that in mind, but Soul Storm as you see here is vulnerable interrupt. So when you do use this, you do not want to make sure you want to make sure that your enemy is not in a position to go ahead and lunge you or anything like that to put you on your behind instead of you putting them on theirs. All right. Now you can always use card backlash, which is a wonderful ability that hits very hard, hits AOE, is going to hit right up on you. Okay. And it's not that high a power cost. Yes, it's 300, so it's kind of where the top part that I want to stay at for power cost, but I don't want to go too much further than that. All right. Now, Condemned. Condemned is one of the sorcery's strongest dots. Um, when you're in the PvE side of things, it's in about 20,000 
per tick and it has six ticks so this is something that is definitely 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 going to be very useful when it comes to pvp and through my testing through my experience in playing it has tremendously it stuns them there's massive damage over time so it's just really nice to have and then vengeance here i'm pretty much be spamming this little bad boy out it's only 100 power cost and it's one single target so it's just nice in that regard and for this shot we all know is a staple of pvp right now um definitely don't take that out of your loadout for really any reason at all now if you're doing more of a dueling you can definitely do this in dueling as well you can definitely utilize it as well but if you want to throw in the final ruin definitely go ahead and replace i recommend you replace soul barrage um for it and you can keep the same general um artifacts here i would say you can even go as far as to replace demon fang with your transformation card all right now the strategy card can be good but for the players uh damage over time it's not the greatest it's definitely still helpful but it's not always the greatest okay i like to use the transformation card just a little bit more but it is clearly on you and on your preference you can always go with the clarion or quizlet or gram or something for the extra added pet damage and whatnot clarion for the extra weapon damage and um i think there's some healing as well even on the damage side of things so that's always nice to have there and yeah and definitely if you are using the clarion definitely go ahead and throw in your weapon of destiny where's that there you go and i would say go ahead and put that right there definitely keep these shields because you want to make sure that you're able to stay alive long enough to do all this damage on this side here okay but look that's about all i got for y'all right now definitely try these loadouts out for yourself get your dueling feats out of the way get your arena feats out of the way all your pvp gear and styles out the way and without further ado y'all y'all be safe y'all take it easy y'all take care peace and shalom to everyone everywhere